Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do a green zone. I'm in Forest of Whispers. My intent is to show you how to do the green zone easily. A lot of people do this method where they go and they sneak each, each mob and then kill and sneak and kill and it's slow and it's tedious and there's easier ways. So the easiest way is just to round them all up and use fireballs. Weak droggers, wolves, um, they all one fireball. The other ones will need technically two, but if you work it correctly, you really don't have to put that much work into it. So let's get him. I want to fully heal and we're just going to aggro some stuff. Now it works better when you have shoes on. Because then you don't have to worry quite so much about being slow. We're just going to do that. And we'll keep running and see how they all died. So I'm going to pick up the goodies. Now the only one that will not work, that this won't work for is the sharpshooter because he likes to keep running. So now that we can get more, we're going to come... We're going to aggro more. Being sure to watch your heels. And then run. And let them die out. The ones that don't die out, you're just going to aggro more. Bonus if you can keep them close together. Sometimes it takes running them in a circle like so. You will take a few hits. But it works. Alright, so we're going to get them all together. And this dude. And they'll die out. And the only ones that are left are those. And we're going to drag them down here. Because I think that I saw... There we go. Get them all at once. And... Dead. That leaves a Thrall, who got missed on his hits, so we'll do that. And with the exception of the one sharpshooter, and possibly one at the top that I may not have seen. Um, it does work better if you remember to wear Colter Boots or something. Okay, so we got one week. Let's get this dude... Bring him over to the sharpshooter. There we go. Come on. There we go. They'll die. And we kill him. And that's all she wrote. That's literally all you have to do. Now, again, if you have shoes for this... You go a little faster. You don't have to take quite as many hits. But it works out really well to avoid having to waste a ton of time killing stuff. Okay, so we got a weak and a jogger. I'm going to pull just the weak guy first. Oopsie. That didn't help. Oh well. Now we're just going to kill him. All right. So, much quicker than normal, we have gone through and cleared this zone. Now, we're just going to mine it really quick. Alright, we're going to start this way. And hit auto. And once we have enough to make a... um. Pickaxe, you make the pickaxe first. Because you're going to get a lot of wood. Oh, we don't want that. We want to find, there we go. So you, you in a wood zone, you're going to get more wood than you would pickaxes. I mean, um, stone. So you want to go ahead and make the pickaxe first. So that you can break those. Let's eat that. And... Make that. 
And now we can start. And you just go through and auto the zone. Get it done with. Stop it and keep running. And as soon as you have enough on you, you're going to make an extra hatchet because you will need it. And we'll move berries there. Alright, let's go ahead and kill the moose this guy. And we'll take care of stuff. And then keep pushing. Now if you do this with a team, you can have one person autoing the other side and then as soon as, and just start putting stuff in a chest and then one person can take the stuff back while the other person just runs on auto. Especially if you work as a team and you have, you know, everybody um, shares wood or resources or whatever. That's really helpful. We're going to need another one. I think I can make shoes. Yeah, I want to go a little faster. There we go. We'll get him. And keep on auto. And what I don't like is that on auto, because it goes to the next nearest thing, you could end up starting at one corner, going all the way to the other corner, and then back. Because it's proximity. And that's kind of frustrating. But, you know, you deal with it. I want that. I do not want the, uh, did I open this one? Yes. I'm going to go this way and check this one. And break these.
All right. Oopsie. Buttons. There we go. Nope. This button. Looks like we have one tree left. We're going to go ahead and lose the rope and get the tree. And that'll also tell us if there's only one. Oh, looks like there's another. There we go. Very little resources. I mean, obviously you can do it with a spear, but it takes so much longer. 